Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Does timing start on file select? Uh, no, F uh, time okay. starts when uh, Richter starts moving. All right, got it. Cool. Uh, should I use my timer or not? I'm... I don't think it matters, right? Nah. Nah, I don't have your timer, it's fine. Okay. I'm good whenever you are. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Thank you, Ling. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Rats. Uh, Pasa's doing the run here. Um, this is the prologue to Symphony of the Night, where uh, a few things need to happen. First, you need to get uh, 41 hearts uh, before the drag fight starts, and you need to finish zero. Uh, this gives us two items when we pick up Alucard. Uh, one is the Neutron Bomb to skip death, and one is the Heart Refresh that allows us to skip the Dracula Relic. Oh, very fast. So, uh, yeah, Pasta got some good damage off there on Drac. Um, doing a item crash plus the Holy Water um, can cause um, some hey, damage stacking uh, mechanics to happen there. So now we're picking up Alucard for the first time. And we want to uh, time. kill a certain amount of uh, enemies here to set up our experience so that once we kill the final wolf with the neutron bomb we got from the prologue, uh, it allows us to level up and in turn allows us to perform the glitch to skip death and keep all of our strong items. We want to kill every wolf except the last and three zombies here. Okay, I'm good with XP. Obligatory, uh, the stair master, as we call him, usually a problem. Thanks, so. We want to kill these two wolves here and then jump over the last one. Uh, for this skip to work, we need to uh, freeze the game right as we pass a camera lock trigger and then uh, form a dash. will screw up the uh, game's information on where our X coordinate is. <laughs> and, uh, oh no, did you fall down? Oh uh, yeah, I, I have a backup okay. save. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, if you fall down the hole there... Uh, yeah, I fucked up. Ooh. If you fall down the hole, uh, you can soft lock the game. Um, because... <laughs> the... Whoa. Uh, I believe that's the debate frame. Very bad pixel, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> so yeah, if you since uh since the game's uh location information I believe is still the same at this portion of the game, once you fall down that hole it gets really confused and just doesn't know what to do, so it just soft locks. Um, but now the game can proceed as normal. We have all of the powerful starting endgame items, or powerful endgame Thanks items. Thanks go to safe states. <laughs> yeah, it's good enough for safe states. So this run is actually being done on an emulator, and uh, the PlayStation version is the second fastest version of the game. The fastest being on the 360, oddly enough. So we're coming up to the first boss fight here, which is Slogrog Gaibon. Um, this fight can set the pace for your run quite heavily uh, due to whether or not you get the... Uh, double kill, yeah. Yeah, the double kill, which is killing them both on the same frame. Um, there's multiple setups to do that. Oh my god, that was close. I almost got poisoned there. And yeah, if you get poisoned <laughs> by these bone spittles, um, you, your damage is halved, I believe. Is it 50% less damage? Yeah. 
Um, so which then you'll use the Tetra Spirit, which is a spell Alucard has. Uh, if you're not poisoned, you can just do this normal. We'll see if he gets the double kill here. It looks like he didn't get it. And so uh, if you get the double kill, it sets up a better, more efficient experience route for the rest of the game. Uh, level up cause people to freeze and um, quite a long animation. So we want to minimize the amount of level ups that occur during the run and getting a double kill is really efficient. I just completely had fell down that hole, eh? <laughs> hey had to happen during the marathon. It happens. <laughs> Everybody's done it that runs this game. I really enjoy watching all you can fall to it. <laughs> So you can see the move that Alucard's doing here, it's called the Shield Dash in the community. And um, it's the main way to go fast early in the game during the clock rush before we get the bat. Oh, up here in a minute. Two if Fleeman was hungry. These uh, Fleeman are notorious trolls and uh, you have to kill them uh, to stay on route for the experience um, efficiency. And uh, yeah, sometimes it can get a little crazy. Oh. So yeah, since this game is uh, being ran on a PSX or PlayStation, uh, the load times between rooms are quite long. Yeah. It loses time over the 360. Oh, pentagram. So coming up to uh, Doppel 20 here, a uh, few things, uh, we get the stopwatch oh. earlier in the marble gallery to, for this fight, and it, it freezes him, um, I believe. I think that's the only boss that uh, is affected yeah, by the, the stopwatch. Oh, okay. He gets frozen by the stopwatch, but um, significant enough time to say that have to get it every time. Wow. Yeah, depending on your timing coming in that room, you can be farther or closer to a uh, doppel fight. Which can save you a second or so. For a section like this, uh, in outer wall, you want to stay as tight Ooh. to the platforms as you can. Try not to overshoot or over jump. And uh, he gets the golden of his head, which can petrify you. And uh, if that happens, you're going to lose some time. That's a good thing that didn't happen. Time. Currently, the elevator is, is being called up to the top. If you were to stay outside there, it would take quite a bit of time. But if we load a room, Come back out. The elevator Thanks, is Tua. already at the top, which is a nice time skip. So now we're going to be grabbing a item, which we're going to use later in the run to glitch the merchant um, and allow us infinite money. The garnet here is a nice item that sells for five thousand. So it's a pretty convenient spot to pick it up. So now we're coming back to the clock, coming back to the clock tower, the clock room I should say. And uh, the clock room is only open every even minute. So Toss is trying to get in there at sub nine, but it looks like, you know, we're going to be a little bit behind, unless I guess the timer's off at this point. But yeah, I had to reload the safe state, so. Yeah. 
closed. Every odd minute it closes, and you'll have to wait. It's gonna be really sharp. Generally, the intended route, casually, is you're supposed to have double jump or um, yeah, double jump, and you can just jump up there. But since we don't have that, and only the wolf, we're going to utilize the dive kick from untransform untransformation. Yeah, and so it looks like we got here on an odd minute, so we're gonna have to wait around for a little bit. Come on. <laughs> yeah, sometimes Twitch titles take a while to update. So there we go, we hit the even minute, untransform and dive kick off the candle. This is the first sequence break in the run. into Olrox quarters. This spot, um, you need to be pretty smooth with your shield dashing and your timing there, otherwise the little skellies will debris. Yeah, you can bonk your head as well. And you can bonk your head, and any little thing throwing off your time in there can cost you some time. So we're coming into Ooh. the Coliseum now. Alucard Special, whatever. So yeah, sometimes randomly that uh, that special can come out with the Alucard Sword, which is just a Hadouken motion. A little bit of manipulation on these Blade Masters. If you just run at them for a certain amount of frames, they'll just jump over you like that. So uh, it's a part of the experience drop to not kill them, as we're about to get a, quite a bit of experience from these uh, Minotaur Werewolf fights. Oh, uh, this is done on a new game plus file or a clear file. Um, no team Minotaur today? Wow. Yeah, he. Uh, if you don't kill him quickly, he can start costing you quite a bit of time. Since we're on a new game plus file, we're allowed to skip cutscenes, which is nice. And for whatever reason, it bugs out the AI and allows us to get in a bunch of extra damage in that fight that you wouldn't normally be able to get without a clear file. So now we're coming up to the infamous uh, book jump. And this book has some. Can I read? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna find out if Pasta can read. So as you saw earlier in the run with the bad kick off the candle, we are also going to unmorph above a book and try to dive kick onto a. Can't read. Can't read. Can't miss the book. <laughs> yep. So sometimes the book can lie behind you, or depending on your spacing from the jump, uh, you can completely. Just missed the book. What the? What? I didn't know you could miss Donwell. <laughs> yeah. So now Pass is gonna have to wait. For a mana, bit to yeah. Get his mana back here. Uh, so yeah, some things about that um, skip there is it requires a specific jump timing so that you have the best amount of the best chance possible uh, when you turn into the the mist to allow the book to come up enough so that you can actually dive kick off of it. Um, this part kills so many runs and it's quite frustrating. Yep. Um, until you get a really good handle on it, and even then, and there is some RNG involved. Um, in even if you're a really good player, you'll still lose runs to this part. This part. I mean, something's weird. Like yeah. I'm doing up forward mist after the, he's going downward. Yeah, just focus on the. Yeah. Just really hold up. Maybe your controller is sticky in the up direction or something. So just a few more moments, and this should be. Enjoying the music uh, the at least. <laughs> yeah. The reason we're trying to get up here is uh, there's a 
fairy card. F fairy card, yeah. Which allows us to glitch the shopkeeper coming up here. Um, since this is a new game plus foul, uh, we're, we have access to a few extra items that aren't in the uh, base version of the game. Or I mean, I haven't triggered on that bitch in a while, right? Wow, we did a little debrief <laughs> action there, and uh, yeah, we made it. So <laughs> easy clap. Usually, I just up for what missed. It's fine, but yeah. Well, you never know what the books in this game. And sometimes they're mean, and they decided to be mean today. So how this glitch works is, once we get up to this ledge, we call the fairy card, Your the relic option, and she's gonna play an audio file, uh, which overlaps with uh, another file that's being played in this uh, portion, allows us to open up our inventory, and we normally wouldn't be able to. So we sell a garnet to the vendor, which we actually have equipped, and this causes an underflow memory error, and the game thinks we have infinity uh, of the garnet. So now we sell to a specific point there and we're gonna pick up duplicator a mana prism and a duplicator and a couple of buffalo stars as well as a library card and equip all those there so the duplicator gives us uh infinite throwable items while it's equipped and this is very strong for the run uh, buffalo star is a very strong throwable item with a high attack rate is this stronger than uh, alucard sword I'm not sure exactly, but it has much higher DPS. So there we're gonna use the stopwatch and we use the mana prism, which does two things. One gives us mana, which is really, really nice, and two gives us a ton of iframes. Allows us to just morph through oh, uh, up here. enemies. So it's a very uh, versatile item. Otaka does the little wolf setup if you bark right after Lesser Demon. And it times nicely so that you can jump right through the gate as it opens. Now the fun begins. <laughs> so now that we have bat form, uh, shield dashing goes out the window and we pick up a new ability uh, with the bat called Wind Smash. Which is a input going from up to back to down to forward and then you release jump. I should have said you hold jump and then do the input. And then you can chain these together. And it becomes the fastest way to move through the game. There you see an ability for a... Um, Mechanic called Bat Dash right there, where you do a dash and then turn into the bat. It gives you a lot of uh, forward momentum. It becomes the best way to traverse the load loading rooms there. And you see the, the bat turning into mist um, and then back into bat. There's a mechanic that allows us to stop very quickly, uh, which is useful for positioning. Coming into the clock tower here. Uh, this part. Oh, that's that room is disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Once you start the cycling of the enemies here, there is something funny uh, about you this be wall. Pretty quick with the um, with the bat, which means any horizontal movement is quite slow with the bat. And if you do too much of it, you can get hit by the harpies there, which will just send you to the bottom and you're going to be in some trouble. So now here's coming the hardest uh, glitch in the game. Oh yeah. 
skipping the Richter fight by jumping over a camera lock trigger that... Um, nope. Kind of ...tracks the fight, or tracks whether or not you... ...have the items to, to fight Richter. Um, when you do the glitch correctly, it just lets you buy, assumes you have them, and kills Richter for you. Yeah, this one's a run killer. This is a frame perfect trick in a 60 FPS game. The one frame is between the oh, final press of the dash it's fine. and the, the jump. There we go. There we go. So we got the glitched sky. And there we go. That's that's the Richter fight. Good job, Pasta. So now we're officially in the inverted castle. Um, although we have very strong items, uh, our levels are quite low and our HP is very low. Um, a lot of these models. Oh, anything will two shot you. Yeah, you'll basically get two shot to one shot um, by any given mob in this area. Oh. Tom's tunnel way. Oh. Very nice. So yeah, Poxy gets the full Tombstone Wing Smash section, which is um, quite a defining moment in the Inverted Castle in terms of your pace. So we'll come up to Medusa here. We want to crowd so. Mimusa. <laughs> that was a good fight. I'm just gonna mana prison here. Oh. This is also quite a difficult section. Um, on PSX, this causes a lot of slowdown frames. And, uh, I have enough for one more uh, stopwatch. Yeah, so generally on. I'm gonna play safe. Using there the you go. Watchers, uh, for some lag reduction. I'm not risking the wing smash into that thing. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, that, that guy can kill you quite easily. Um, he's got quite a long reach. Oh. So there we use a particular spot on the floor to line that up nicely. So oh. So yeah, pretty monk ass moment right there. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys will turn you into mincemeat, so he's using the mana prism there for some iframes and then turning into a bat for some extra iframes. Basically any transformation or mana prism will give you a ton of iframes, which is nice. So there's uh, one more major glitch coming up in the game. Which My is, uh, race. <laughs> Yeah, the, another doozy relic skip. Um, this skips the item check for all of uh, Dracula's relics. It allows us to fall through the floor and wing smash our way into a save room right next to Dracula's final chamber. Yeah. This trick is a lot similar, is very similar to death skip. I think I got it. Both the, both the death skip and the um, relic skip, I believe, were dealt with by a guy named Sock Boulder, who's pretty infamous for pitch hunting in uh, speed games. So now we're kind of out of bounds in a way. We're in the floor here. In a void. Oh. <laughs> Go. 
are into Dracula's chamber with no relics at all. I want to equip the second Buffalo Star we bought from the shopkeeper earlier on to maximize our DPS on this fight. I think we can throw ninja stars from both hands. Shaft. And there goes Shaft. <laughs> Um, the boss fights become tr quite trivial once you get a certain combination of items in this game. There's a lot of items that just make all of these fights kind of um, quite simple. Mm -hmm. Dracula will still one-shot you if he hits you, or two-shot you in this case. He does about 80 damage a hit. So it's important to track Dracula's movement here, and you want to bait him into attacking one of the dragon. Go back oh. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. <laughs> Just barely gets them before you teleport away. So good job, How? Pasta. Yeah, that was stems. Now it's time. So it was about a 25-35. Ever since you lost the ability to love. Ah, huh. uh, sarcasm. Profit is it to a man? Not a bad run for a marathon. Good job. Yeah, that was pretty scary. I, I'm not gonna lie. I was really nervous about it. In this run. It's pretty mm. Tell me. Thank you. What? What I would like to thank everyone for letting me in, even though I'm not amazing at the game, right? It's a great run. It's a great cause, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, I'd like to do a big up for Rats because he's the one that taught me the game and uh, got me into it. So thanks, Red, for helping me. Yep. You guys enjoy the marathon. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Catch you in chat. Thank you for being here. Before you leave, yeah? the incentive you want to pick as the runner's choice. You had a few bits donated. I don't know. You don't know? We have kill the, kill the animals, dude. Kill the animals. Yeah, yeah, kill the animals. Okay, kill the animals, dude. Save yeah, the okay, frames, kill dude. them all. The Thanks for the follow. Kill them all. <laughs> it is my fault you had to fight your all right. Father. Well, I'm gonna I drop and good luck to the next runner. I'm pretty shook right now. <laughs> anyway. All right, thank you. Thank you.